Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining this conversation. My name is Shorya Gupta. You can't see me, but I manage marketing at Value First. As we all can see in our screens, we have with us Vanna Roy. Vanna heads human resources at Value First, and now has been here for over seven years. Vanna, why don't you say hi to all of us? Hello, everyone. Hello, Shorya, and thank you for having me. Thank you for arranging this, especially you know when it is difficult to. Do a range of physical sit down so and i hope everyone including you are safe out there yes so i thought it would be a great idea to actually host a session like this given the fact that the pan pandemics out there and hr as a department is under a lot of pressure i'll come to that but before that i want to ask you the most typical question that i'm asking every everyone these days how are you sure. doing with the lockdown out there with the pandemic out there personally okay so it's around lockdown um see shari lockdown is uh, bringing you know uh, good and not so good with it uh, economically it is impacting globally the growing panic is bringing psychological stress and this you know physical social distancing is bringing a lot of anxiety in all of us uh, but together with this uh, there is bright side too all of us are able to spend a lot of time with ourselves our families and that is what even i am doing um and i think uh, at the work front too everyone is uh, equally productive so uh, i see that it is bringing a good uh, you know in all of us personally if you ask me i am uh, spending a lot of time with my son i'm able to see him uh, connect uh, you know with his school friends Uh, I'm able to part of be part of his classes, which of course is all through digital medium. So right. yes, right. it's been going good. You know, my meditation and my yoga is getting a lot of time for me. This is something that I always wanted to do. Got it. Coming back to the crux of the session. So as I was saying that during this pandemic, HR as a department has been under a lot of pressure and fire. And specifically, mm -hmm. I had to think about how the entire workforce had to be gifted. remote to to remote workforce then onboarding new people virtually taking care of the mental well being and hence i thought this episode would be a great idea so why don't we begin by uh, you telling us about the time in mid of march when you took a call it's time to shut office and implement a global work from home policy uh -huh. okay yeah so yes we did uh, you know globally shut our offices in mid march uh see january end is when you know uh, world health organization had declared covid uh, as a public health emergency and i remember talking to wish our ceo and leadership team around first week of february and by february end you know all our team members were well equipped with uh you know whatever systems and whatever uh, they needed to work remotely and that made it very easy for us to you know globally uh, switch to work from home for our entire workforce we had our uh, you know business continuity plan processes internal sops for each and every team in place by february end and uh, that's that's what made uh, you know it easier for us to immediately shut down the offices in fact uh, you know first march is when a lot of our people started working from home uh, but officially it was 18th march when we uh, globally asked all of our people to right. come into the mode of work from home yeah i would also like to mention you know that uh, it's it's easier for the tech people to work from home since they had always been doing it you know frequently and regularly but the beauty was how uh, the non tech force uh, such as you know customer success teams uh, finance team sales team or uh, you know other shared services team the way they quickly adapted themselves into this uh, you know remote uh, style of working was was amazing got it so in fact i mean the first lockdown was supposed to be only about two weeks right but here we are it's been over two months now so how have things panned out on that issue i mean what sort of issues came up to you as a team and what's been happening yes two months uh, actually we did not anticipate it to be this longer that it will be two months however uh, 
uh, as I mentioned earlier that, you know, since uh, all our, you know, work arrangements and all the setup in terms of the systems and processes were there in place, uh, the transition was very smooth. And I feel great to mention that in these last two, three months, we had hardly received any escalations, you know, be it from client or uh, people. Um, and, and that's been possible uh, because of the, uh, you know, high standards of, uh, uh, you know, because of the strict adherence to the, uh, you know, quality processes. And of course, the availability of communication bandwidth, uh, whether it's metros or, uh, you know, small town. Uh, and yes, of course, there were, you know, few uh, minor issues that people would come up with, for example, say internet speed or mobile connectivity. Right. Uh, but those were like really minor, they could, uh, and they did not hamper the work or the productivity. Uh, rather, it has been overwhelming to know, you know, how good our infra is in these smaller towns. So yeah. all, all this made it possible, uh, you know, for the teams to work. And, and, and the teams uh, really worked, uh, you know, uh, together on this, uh, though all of us were working remotely, but very well connected. Uh, you know, the entire VF is uh, just a call or text away. All the team managers, you know, they are regularly connecting with their teams the way they were doing earlier. All the stand up meetings, all the uh, stakeholder connects, they're very much happening on uh, various platforms the way they were happening earlier. Uh, uh, you know, our, our CEO Bish did connect with people twice in last uh, two months, you know, to the mm -hmm. entire organization. And uh, we did, uh, no, not did, but we are doing our first virtual town hall end of this month. And the format of which um, we would keep same as, uh, you know, every year's town hall. So, yes, it is uh, a bit challenging, um, mm -hmm. but, but it's been going very smooth and uh, seamless. So I'm, I'm completely with you on the fact that how work's not been affected and it's been a very soft transition. But what about the mental well-being? I mean, we're hearing so many news about like how people are not keeping their best in terms of their mental health right now. So are you mm -hmm. doing something to tackle that as well? Yeah, so, so um, sure, I'm with you. You know, we understand that, um, you know, it, personally, it's a uh, little... Uh, say challenging for uh, everyone uh, you know to to be in this environment uh, which is away from normalcy uh, and you know at, at value first the HR has always uh, you know ensured that taking care of people is not just our job uh, you know the emotional and social well-being of our people is taken care of by everybody right from the leadership team to the function heads to the team leads of um, you know every team uh, they do very well connect with all of their uh, team members. Um, yeah. Me and my team um, are regularly in touch, uh, you know, with everybody out there. We are talking to them. We are hearing them. What is it that they have to say? Vish mm -hmm. did mention in one of his sessions, you know, that if they need anything, uh, any, any sort of help financially or otherwise also, they could reach out to him. They could reach out to me. Um, I mean, this is not something that you hear from CEO, right? That yeah. any sort of help that they need, can they can freely reach out to him. Um, mm -hmm. Besides this, you know, we're doing a lot of stuff. Like we do have this uh, spiritual uh, club that has some 20 odd people from Value First. And this is run by Wish. Uh, yeah. Other than this, we do have a lot of games, you know, a lot of fitness uh, challenge that we do to keep the motivation and enthusiasm of people mm -hmm. uh you know, uh, intact. Right. And, so, uh, and, 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 you know, uh, yeah, you're saying something? No, go on, go on. It's okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, besides, besides taking care of each other, we are helping out people outside value first also. I would like to um, really talk about this here uh, mm -hmm. that a lot of people, in fact, mostly um, some, you know, 90% of our workforce did, uh, you know, contribute a large amount of their salaries in PM care uh, funds. Um, a lot, many people are helping, you know, the daily wagers out there. They're helping these stray animals. Um, everybody, is do, every, everybody is doing their bit right. to help people. Oh, that's, that's great to know. So, 
with this pandemic it's just not the mental health but there's also this uncertainty which has come in so for example you might have read this stat which was doing rounds across whatsapp saying 33 million men and women in their 30s have lost jobs in april so it's become so weird i mean everyone's scared about what's going to happen do you have mm-hmm. any comments on that um yes okay so um See, see, let's see uh, where we are today, Shari. You know, where we are today is uh, something which is very new and very challenging. Yeah, talking about cost control and cost, uh, you know, reduction is something which sounds very reasonable for any organization. Um, organization would not uh, say, you know, ask its people to go unless they know that that's the only way for them to survive. Uh, and if you know i have to talk about our organizations thankfully we are we are you know one of those few lucky ones where we are uh, you know instead we are we are expanding uh, our family we are onboarding people um, in last 3 months we have onboarded 35 people and we are still looking out to hire a large number of people in every every function and every teams um, so got it so i mean as you said like you've hired a lot of people in the last few weeks but this mm-hmm. is also not ideal because while out there everyone's talking about people being let go about companies not hiring virtual mm-hmm. onboarding is another issue that no one's talking about in fact about how people are joining via i mean mm-hmm. directly on video calls so that also brings a lot of issues along so how are you tackling that yes uh, you know when you say issues they are actually a bit different than how it was earlier it was all about you know the physical experience the physical um, uh, you know way of hiring and the physical way of onboarding uh, it it was for us also a bit challenging at the beginning but now we have streamlined it to a very large extent and this has been possible because of various teams you know right from the talent acquisition to people's team to the team uh, you know in which the respective hiring is happening for um, and we are ensuring we're making sure that we are not missing on any step you know whatever was happening before is happening uh, uh, you know in the similar manner uh, whether it is say interviews and whatever number of interviews were the rounds of interviews you know it's not that we are now moving fast or we're making it too slow uh say if for a particular position there were three rounds it stays the same you know um so the mm-hmm. interviews the induction the uh, product training the uh, you know documentation everything is happening virtually uh, me- making people meet to the leadership team to the ceo to their respective teams all that is happening so we have this complete program of you know 10 days to one week where the entire orientation of course not physically but that virtual experience is given to uh, to the higher uh, and a, a dedicated you know uh, buddy is also aligned so that he or she feels very comfortable into the system yeah. no that's so, very important i mean i remember my first few days when i joined i mean it can be a bit intimidating especially with the nerves so that's that's cool i do very well remember that sorry because you would sit on <laughs> our on our floor so yes Okay. So But yes, in a way, I would like to uh, yes, I would like to also mention, you know, that though people are thinking that um, you know it is all virtual hiring, but at the same time, people are happier also. So as you mentioned, you had you know these nerves when uh, you were new. So right now, what is happening since people are there with their families, uh, they're a bit happier, you know. And then for rest of the things, we're making sure that we are with them. You know, we're regularly yeah. connecting with. and the hr is connecting the leadership is leadership team is connecting their team managers are connecting and besides that their families is there with them so okay got it so i also want to ask i mean so we've started seeing some relaxations on the lockdown now in fact it looks like first of june we might be able to commence some things at least to within india mm-hmm. so have we be have we as value first been preparing for that Yes uh so i would not say that we are opening or we not opening on first we are waiting and watching um we'll move forward you know according to the government guidelines government has made it clear that yes organization can open up but there are a lot many factors to it so uh you know we'll see but whenever we are opening we are making sure that we are following the local uh, government you know the state and the central government and we are progressively resuming operations 
Um, mm-hmm. And for the same, our you know administration team is already in work. They are regularly sanitizing, fumigating the uh, entire office premises. You know they are putting all those posters uh, and stocking up the inventory. You know in terms of face masks, sanitizers, and right. those you know thermal scanners. Uh, to this extent, you know that um, even the door knobs, whether they should be taken off and whether there should be a dedicated mm-hmm. person to close and open the door. So that bit of detailing um, is mm-hmm. is happening, you know, so that whenever we are there in office, we are uh, in a safe place. Uh, the way we are in our home, we should be feeling the same in office. So that's what we are uh, trying to do. Um, also, you know, the key will be that whenever we open office, whenever we resume, uh, you know, work from office, uh, the key will be social distancing and wearing of masks. Uh, mm. This will be non-negotiable. Uh, yeah. This is something that has to be integrated in our lifestyle. So these are the things that we'll ensure. Um, and yes, Got that's it. when we we'll get back to work. So I also want to let our audience ask questions. But before I do that, I... I wanted to ask you something on a more on a personal front. So sure. we've got more time to ourselves the last few weeks. And so, for example, I've started cooking and baking much more than I used to do before. Is there something that right. you've been? Is there something that you've been pursuing of late? Yes, I have been. I've not been doing that great job as you, Shari. I am <laughs> not getting into cooking and all. That's not the skill that I, um, you know, learned. Uh, but yes, as I did mention earlier, you know, what is it and how is it that, you know, I'm doing personally more in this COVID time. So it is my yoga and meditation, uh, you know, which has made me more centered and aware. So what I have started doing is that I'm not doing a lot. Uh, you know, I'm spending a lot of time with myself and I'm spending a lot of time in just going inwards uh, and trying to you know, be more calmer and understanding about uh, this entire universe or trying to understand myself, actually. That's what I'm doing. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to request everyone who's on this live video to put in their questions. You can ask anything. I mean, it can be professional, personal to an extent, I guess. (laughs) Open to questions, yes. So I think there's a question from someone called Sumesh. He, he's saying that I start my work at 9 a.m. and I don't mm-hmm. have a finish time. I mean, I try and stop, but there's always something pending. So how do I divide that? Oh, he's saying that the entire day he's spending only working? Yeah. <laughs> Why was that not happening when Sumesh was in office? <laughs> yeah. So... Um, you know, the answer is very simple, Shari, and we all are uh, very smart. You know, we, we all have so much of content around us, uh, whether it's from WhatsApp or, you know, the Internet or even the internal communication that we do in Value First, uh, mm-hmm. that we have to uh, make a timetable, a schedule for ourselves. And, you know, when I say a schedule for ourselves, nobody can tell you where, uh, you know, Where do you have to spend your time and how? For example, work, it has to be eight hours, nine hours. I understand sometimes, you know, it could take, say, 10 hours or 12 hours at a stretch when there's too much of work. But it shouldn't be the only thing, you know. And and I feel that nothing has changed. When you were in office, then also you were giving, say, eight hours to nine hours. Rest of the hours were for your family uh, and for yourself. You know, what has changed is only those, say, half an hour or one hour of commute time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that has changed, but rest remains the same. Uh, You know, you could be doing things for yourself, playing basketball, not like really basketball, but virtual (laughs) basketball games or acquired a new skill or, you know, spend good time with family. So that's that's what should be done, because if you're not uh, utilizing this time and even, you know, acquiring newer skills, and, you know, there's something that I've been reading off late that if you did not do it, that means you do, you actually never wanted to do anything apart from, you know, what you're doing now. Because we don't even have excuse of, say, I don't have time right now. We are able to actually take two, three hours extra because that commute time for everyone has, uh, is the extra time that we have now. Got it. I don't know if that answers your question, like Sumesh's. I hope Sumesh that answers your question. If you've got any more questions, I have something for you, Anna, otherwise, personally. Tell me, Shani, what is it? 
one thing that you love about video calls and one thing you hate about them <laughs> uh, i think i i love doing video calls <laughs> i get to um you know i get to so so in this one i'm not able to see people mm-hmm. otherwise the fact that i love video call is because i'm able to see happy faces of my uh you know people in value first and this is something that i'm really missing i i miss seeing their happy faces i miss seeing uh, you know saying hi hello to them so yeah. that's why i love video calls and i think that's what everybody is doing also to with their team members instead of doing audio calls we prefer video calls we, we are all social animals you know we love, love being uh, with people and seeing them true I somehow don't see questions here. I don't know if you can see questions on your chat window. Uh, not really. Sorry, let me try. I think there are a few things. Um, no, not really. These are only the messages like "good okay. going" or "nice" and yeah, all that. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so, in fact, what we can do is, I mean, you can always everyone who's on this live video, they can always message us across social media or on our website. Someone from the team, or specifically one, or even wish if required. we'll get back to you it can be related to work it can be related to personal help anything sure sure any time sorry it's it's lovely talking mm-hmm. to you and people out there um and i'd be happy to come again on this platform mm-hmm. and speak about our mm-hmm. organization our people how is it that we work here um, yeah. how well we are uh, as a family um, and then that that uh, will continue So. Okay, sorry. Before I part, there's actually one question. This person mm-hmm. doesn't want to be named, but he's saying there are a lot of companies who are letting people go, and like, what do you what do you think about that? Like, is it is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Do you have an opinion on it? Um, see, um, I would not be able to say if it's a good thing or a bad thing, as I did mention that a company would only take that measure. you know uh, then it is absolutely necessary when a company knows that that's the only way that it can survive so mm-hmm. yes then the organization should be that's that's my personal thing organization is bigger you know so uh, only then uh, is when an organization would be taking that extreme uh, step of say salary cut or you know asking people to go got it i s- i don't see any more questions so let mm-hmm. we let people connect with us on other digital platforms yeah. but thank you so and, much and I, yeah so before you know we winding up i wanted yeah. to uh, make it very clear about value first here um, and we did talk about it a lot also that you know we are hiring and all that um we, that you know we are expanding and we are hiring so of course there is no such thing in our organization happening because i see that people are asking these questions on behalf of other organization and and i hope that people are not thinking the same about uh, value first like that mm-hmm. uh, you know because mm-hmm. we are very very certain that we are very strong very stable um, so yeah perfect so thank you so much vanna for being a part of this i had a great thank time asking your question otherwise as well sure any time perfect Thank you so much everyone. Take care. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Yeah, stay safe and stay happy.